In today's tech video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your iPhone and your Android on Fire Stick. First, I'll show you a few different ways of how you can do this with your iPhone, and then I'll show you how you can do it with an Android device. So I'm gonna show you how to get anything that is on your iPhone and mirror it to your TV, and we will be doing this wireless without any adapters or any kind of wires. Now, some of your newer TVs already have mirroring capabilities built into them, but the way that I'm gonna show you can be done on both older model TVs and all the newer model TVs. Now, the way that I'm gonna show you is with the option of using using two simple devices. The first one is a Roku device, and the other one is an Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and dive into this, and I'll give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this with the Roku device first. Then I'll show you how to do it with the Amazon Fire Stick. So I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to mirror your iPhone to your Roku. Roku recently updated their platform so that Apple AirPlay is now built into their devices making it real easy to mirror without using any kind of third-party apps or anything like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your Roku is up to date. So grab your remote control and hit your home button if you're not on the home screen like I am right now. Then go down to where it says settings and then click over and we're going to want to go down all the way to where it says system and then go down to where it says system update You'll click on that and then you'll check now. Uh, if it's not up to the latest software, it will do that at this time. Go, after it's all the way up to date, go ahead and click on your home button again, take you to the home screen, and then we're gonna go down to settings. And then we're gonna go down to this new category right here that says Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. And then click on that. And then now over here on your sidebar, you'll see where it says AirPlay on and off. You want to make sure that's on on. On the require code, I have it just as first time only. Uh, so if you click on that, you'll see that it gives you options for first time only, every time, or use password instead. So that's all based on preference. I'm going to keep mine on first time only. And then now that it's set to first time only and on, you're going to want to jump over to your iPhone. Now, you do want to make sure that your iPhone and your Roku are set up on both of the same Wi-Fi network. So they have to be on the same local Wi-Fi network. Okay, once you jump over here on your iPhone, you want to swipe down on the top, top right corner like that. And it brings up your menus icons here. And right here in the middle, you'll see where it says screen mirroring. Go ahead and tap on that. And then, as you can see, I have two that pop up here, but on the very top one there, it says Roku, or Roku Streaming Stick. And you tap on that. It'll ask for a code. And then on my screen here, you'll see where it says uh, four digit code. I'm gonna type that code into my iPhone. Okay, now that it's typed in, you'll see on my iPhone, there's a check mark next to where it says Roku Streaming Stick. And then on my TV, you'll see where it's mirroring exactly what's on my iPhone. And then to stop mirroring, you just go down to where it says stop mirroring and then stop it that way. So, Okay, now here's the beauty. Once you are connected, I jumped over to the YouTube app here to play one of my YouTube videos. I have the phone tilted in vertical mode and it's already playing in landscape mode on the screen. So it's not like I have to tilt my phone into landscape mode. It automatically detects it and puts it in landscape mode on the screen. And here's the other wonderful thing is the volume is or volume is coming out of the TV instead of the the phone because some of these third party applications it would come out through the phone. Let me show you. Subscribe to my channel and that's what I'm trying to get you to do right now. Hi, my name is Juan and I make videos on a weekly basis on one of the things that I'm very passionate about, All right. and that is tech. I hit pause on there, but as you can see, it works all with your phone onto your TV. I love Apple AirPlay. Okay, next up I'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this on your Amazon Fire Stick. Okay, so here's the step-by-step -step instructions on how to mirror anything that you got going on on your iPhone to your Fire TV right here, so or your Fire Stick. So well, the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to go over to your magnifying glass over here, and then you're going to want to type in a power mirror. 
Okay, and it comes up right here, A Power Mirror. And you should get that icon that looks, that's right there. Uh, a Power Mirror, go ahead and click on that. Okay, and it'll take you to this screen here, and then you'll go ahead and click OK on your remote control to download it. Now it'll get queued, and depending on your Wi-Fi speed is how fast it'll download. All right, then it'll start installing. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and click Open. Okay, and it'll take you to this screen here. Uh, you have to allow access of A-Power Mirror to access your photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on Allow. All right, so now once you get to this screen here, to mirror your phone, it, well, first it gives you some different options to do video mirroring, phone mirroring. Uh, if you have a PC, you can mirror that way, scan to connect and settings. But we're going to go to the second tab right here where it says phone screen mirroring. And then click on that. It'll take you to this QR code over here on the left. All you want to do is just open up the uh, picture taking app on your iPhone and then go over and scan it and then as soon as you scan it up here at the top it'll have the QR code reader so you just tap on that and it'll automatically take you to your iPhone so that way you can download the A Power Mirroring Screen app so click on it to download it alright and then we'll go ahead and click open alright and now I ask you a question A Power Mirror would like to find and connect devices on your local network uh, you want to click OK because both of these have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network alright so it's asking for network permission and location permission just go ahead and click on continue and then allow while using app okay so there it goes and now it's recognizing your Wi-Fi connection next thing we want to do is click on that middle button where it says mirror and now it's searching for your Wi-Fi network and then it's got an icon here that says a power mirror okay next what you want to do is uh, swipe down on the top right corner of your iPhone just like this it'll bring up all these different options and then right there in the middle you'll see where it says screen mirroring you'll tap on that and as you can see right here at the very top it's got a power soft and that is what is powering or talking with the app that you just downloaded on your fire stick so then you just click on that it'll load up and as you can see we are now mirroring directly to the TV so I'll give you guys a quick little test of how this works Oh, also if you do want to stop mirroring you'll just swipe down the bottom or the top right and click on that stop mirroring button right there but let's go ahead and play something from my camera roll we'll sh um, play a video that I recorded okay here's the test video that I recorded with my dog and it's playing directly from my phone right to the TV just like that and the great thing is the sound is coming from the TV and not from the phone so there you go. That's how you mirror your iPhone to your Fire Stick. Okay, now here are the instructions on how to connect your phone using an Android and a Chromecast. Okay, so after you have your Google Chromecast all set up, make sure that your phone and your Chromecast are on the same Wi-Fi network and follow these steps here. Okay, the way to cast or mirror your phone to your uh, Google Chromecast, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get your Android here and then you're going to go over to, for example, we're just going to go to the gallery and here is a picture that I took today of my dog and the easy way to cast a picture to your phone is up here on the top right, you'll see that there's like a play icon that's got some like arrows going around it or something, but you'll tap on that and then it'll bring up all the devices that it's able to uh, cast to or to mirror to and here on the top one you'll see where it says Juan's bedroom TV but it says Google Cast. Okay that's where my Google Chromecast is and so what all you do is just tap on it and when you tap on it it'll say start casting or recording with this device um, just or this service just click on start now it'll ask to change the aspect ratio because right now it's in uh, vertical mode so I'll just hit change and then right there it's casting this picture right onto the TV right there and it looks pretty good alright so now say you want to do a video we'll just back out of it and as you can see it's still in vertical mode where it's casting vertically I'll tap on the video and then on the phone here it'll say play video just click on that 
and then you you might have to the very first time you do this you have to click on allow right there it's playing right onto the TV from my phone okay so now say you want to play a, a YouTube video just go back to the home menu on your phone and just click on a YouTube video here okay and then right now it is just casting everything that is on my phone on the TV in vertical mode like this so you know right now I'm on the YouTube channel and I'm just scrolling up and as you can see it's casting everything on there so that's how you do it with a Google Chromecast well hopefully this video was helpful if it was go ahead and throw a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button I make tech videos all the time and I would love to have you back in the next one take care